All right, Jared, start with the end in mind. So backward chaining right here, solid pronation bump in the elbow, thumbs down, protecting the elbow. Okay, now we're at, we've already let go of the ball, so we're at launch, so let's move it a few frames forward. We're looking to make sure that this throwing arm right here maintains a little bit of that bend as it goes and finishes full internal rotation. All right, just slow yourself down, and you can see it gets extended and straightened out right here. Okay, so that's gonna put a lot of stress on the back side of the shoulder and also the back side of the elbow because it's, it's just not, those muscles can't handle the deceleration of that arm appropriately. So what's gonna happen is your body's gonna say, I'm not moving any faster, brother. I'm not, I'm not letting you hit the gas until you build me some better brakes. And so we'll work on the shoulder, or the shoulder tube, some of those posterior uh, shoulder rotator cuff throws with the medicine ball, or I'm sorry, the four pound weighted ball. Um, and then the wrist weights will be a big component Again, if you decide that um, you want to continue on with the training. So, backing up a little bit here. Let's go to stride for contact. Okay, so this is what's called weight bearing. All right, so the weight is now transferred into the front leg. So we want to make sure that this knee is solid and we need a stable platform to rotate our torso around, our shoulders. So, challenge we've already found here is that you've already moved into layback with your forearm. So you're already starting this throw, right? Instead of being able to keep your torso stacked. So meaning, like right now at this point, your head should still be back here, all right? And then your, your back shoulder should be back here. Your shoulder is fully rotated away from the target. And that's partly thoracic spine mobility, the stuff we were talking about yesterday. We gotta get you opened up around the rib cage so you can breathe more freely and move your shoulders more freely and your scaps. That'll help you with arm health and velocity. And also to be able to deal with the mental side of the game, it's, it's a challenge. Um, and so that, that's costing you some major velocity right there, for sure. Good news is that your arm is laying back really well. So if you look at this angle right here, it's not even perfect because it's two-dimensional, but that up a tiny bit. Okay, so definitely not 101 degrees in reality, but I would say north of 85 degrees, just eyeballing it, which is world class. So that means you have the potential to really throw hard. You just gotta figure a couple things out here and dedicate yourself to it. Um, so as you move out, we're looking for you to hold onto the ball for a long time and throw your shoulder through the target, so-called late launch. And so to me, you're letting go right here about even with the shoulder, all right? We'd like to get the shoulder driving through the target a little bit more. And so that's just gonna be um, an application of, of force. You know, you gotta be able to rotate your shoulders, replace your shoulders as a cue that you can think of or throw your shoulder through the target. Uh, that'll help you stay behind the ball longer, accelerate longer, so should ultimately result in more velocity. And then also it's a biomechanically more sound movement, so your body will be able to get that launch in late and then fire the right pattern on the way down to slow yourself down. So. Overall, man, I know that you weren't thrilled with the results as far as the radar gun was, but um, I, I really, really do believe in you. I think you do have a lot of upside, and uh, you know, I want to help however I can. So send some other stuff over to you, but let me know if you have any questions.